This is the Bennett branch of the Cinnamahoney Creek. This stream used to be called Sulphur Creek. The kids that go swimming in there, they come home with red swimming trunks. They have to get a shower to get cleaned back up after going swimming in the stream. Yesteryear was just orange. That's the way it was. You went in there swimming, we were swimming there. When we were kids, we came out orange. The lower 33 miles were dead from acid mine drainage from these abandoned mine lands. So no fish, no bugs, no aquatic life. We assessed the watershed for where all the sources of pollution were, and about 40% of the acid load to the Bennett branch came from mines right around the village of Hollywood. We actually collected 21 different underground mine discharges from four different underground mine complexes and brought them together at a single point where we could treat them at the Hollywood treatment plant. It's almost like a sewage collection system would be in a residential community, except they're collection lines that bring mine drainage to a centralized treatment plant. They go into an uh, oxidation tank, we call it a decarbonation tank, where air is just basically put into the water and helps get some of the carbon dioxide out of the water, raises the pH a little bit, helps oxidize the iron out of the water and different metals. From there, the water goes into reactant tanks where we mix it with hydrated lime which also helps the water to react and it gets that orange color because the iron is dropping out of the water. From there, the water goes into the, the clarifier. The polymer is mixed with it and it helps the iron come together to react, clump together and, and fall out of the water. And then from the clarifier, that's where we get the clearer water and it goes into a settling pond and then back into the Bennett Branch district. We're able to treat up to 10 million gallons a day. Typically, we've been averaging close to around 3 million gallons a day we got far-reaching effects downstream, enough to flip the Bennett branch from acidic to alkaline, probably for the first time in 100 years, and, and allow it to be stocked again with fish. And the aquatic life has just been thriving since all that work was completed. People are fishing along it. There's a bait shop opened along there. There's a, a little bit of economic development already as a result of it. And it's really great, though, to go up there and see fishermen in a stream that just a couple years ago was dead. Since the water's now stockable, we've been getting some fish from uh, the Fish and Boat Commission and from uh, the Blue Valley hatchery over there to stock the stream with. We built these three tanks and we uh, put the trout in and they did very well. And they're stocked in the Commonwealth waters in three counties, Elk, Jefferson and Clearfield counties. Once people realized that once you had the water cleaned up, then people start to come. It's unbelievable that a trout stream is worth so much money in tourism dollars to the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. It's millions and millions of dollars. Probably one of the things I'm most proud of is that it's, it's not just treating these discharges, it's a full watershed restoration effort. I've been with the department for just over 30 years and this is by far the most uh, rewarding project that I've worked on in my career. Uh, to see that site back in 2004 and the devastation, I thought it was too big a project really to complete. I think it was one of the first times that so many different part, departments of the state and uh, private individuals and private corporations had worked together and really accomplished something as great as this. And you can see the results right now, how the partnership panned out in the long run. It was, it was a benefit for everybody. I always wanted to fish it before I died, and it happened. <laughs> so hopefully I'm gonna live, outlive it a while. <laughs>